Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle half and half from CZT Denny York. This is a cute one and bonus, bonus, bonus <laughs> has lots of options for decorating. All right, I'm going to, I was debating between just doing one and doing a four square, but what I'm going to do is we'll do a four square because it is rather simple and simple is good. We like simple and I'm going to have them all go the same direction. Now, because it's a grid, this is uh, a perfect opportunity to use each square as a fragment and you can you know, turn it in, you know, uh, well, actually, really, it's, I don't know, I, mean, uh, I was going to say two directions, but, you know, well, let, let's do it, and then we can talk about that. All right. After you have your grid set, then in the center, well, we're going to do orbs, but if you take a peek at the For More Inspiration link, which will take you to Tangle Patterns, and you can see Denny's step out and some gorgeous artwork you will see that you are not limited to just orbs at this part. Okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to have these all go the same direction. Just, well, yeah, just because it turns out it, you know, it, it turns out neat. That's the fun thing about using the concept of fragments in a reticula and a reticula is the structure in which they're placed in. Um, because all, you know, different, uh, meta patterns will, uh, will show up or it just, you know, looks extra cool a different way. This one, we're going to do it all the same as I mentioned. All right. After you have, oh, and I'm, I'm working and I'm not talking. Sorry. So as you could see, <laughs> I was drawing, um, just some straight lines with coming from the corner and, and, stopping just shy of the orb we want to leave a little space there whatever you would consider your space for an aura that's where that's you know where we'll leave it because the next step and of course doing that on either side the next step is we're going to start at one end and we're going to aura the orb like so so really you were doing uh, you could consider it an aura, you could consider it a, a C-shape, whatever way you want to think about it. And like that. And so this is where I say, you know, you can, you can really move these two ways. Really, it's four ways because you, you can, while you can have the diagonals, only you have two options. But this next part, you can, you can have it, uh, I could have flipped the aura on this side if I wanted to. So you have, again, lots of options for what you want to do. And if you're doing a different shape, obviously then you just aura whatever that shape is that you're putting in the center. Okay. So then per Denny's step out, she has, uh, taking the side that has the, the aura in it, the, the cutout part, she just did some straight lines. So this is another opportunity where you can decorate because she also put in the, um, in the step out some options or variations, whichever way you want to think about it. And you could fill this section in solid. You could aura this little section, leave it empty. You could leave it empty period anyway. Um, you could um, actually one that I don't think she had on there, but as I was playing, I thought, oh, you could aura it and then put in some straight lines or something else, orbs or whatever. Um, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm, let's just, uh, I'm going to come down here. I don't know. You know, let me take that back. Because it is, there is something neat about doing them all the same way. And so I have a, I do have a sample to share when we're done. Because I did like three different thoughts, three or four, and, uh, and alternated them. And so I'll just share that. But like I said, this, I'm, and I'm just doing a light touch straight line. Because when you do, at least in my opinion, when you do a light touch straight line, it's okay if it's a little bit wiggly. It's okay if it's not necessarily um, even. It has its own 
kind of neat character versus doing, you know, a heavy, uh, deliberate line like, like I have, you know, up until this point. It also, because it makes it a little bit thinner if you have a lighter touch, it, um, well, it just it ends up looking a little bit lighter than if I was putting down heavy, deliberate lines. Fix that. Okay. Actually, I think on the last step out, well, I'm trying to remember. I, I think that these, I know on uh, Denny's, she put these both on the same uh, box of the step out. And I can't remember what I ended up doing. <laughs> Probably did the same. A lot of times I like to separate things if um, if it helps to see uh, or just to direct your eye because it's not sometimes it's not even necessarily just that oh I don't think I noticed that um, or or you know not like you can't see oh we're coloring this in, filling this in and we're doing these stripes sometimes it's just where your eye is directed and where you might see you know not pay attention to one or the other anyway that sometimes it's just how my brain works and. So it looks neat like that. And that's essentially, oh, that, well, outside of, well, let me go to the, filling this in. And actually, why don't I leave a little orb there so if you want to leave a little shine in. Sometimes I'll do this where I make a little circle. I usually end up doing it with the he, the O1 or something smaller because this is uh, the graphic one. I'm going to have to just come back on that one. Or you do is like this and make this little or bigger in the space where you might want to have the shine. And then coloring it in. And then it's all set. And then if you do like this, where, yeah, kind of oops did, or if you d just thought about it afterwards, you can always come back. And then, of course, then I want to make them all uniform, so why not? <laughs> Add in the little, uh, uh, this is the Jelly Roll 10. It works really nice for this because it's nice and juicy. So here we have it. Now, of course, you can do you know, whatever shading you might want to do, you, you could, uh, you know, follow the lines. And sometimes things like this are nice without shading. So here is the sample that I did. Actually, let me flip that around. I have my camera angled so that way you can see the pen tip, but then it distorts these things. Um, yeah, so here I did um, uh, the lines that we did. Here I did a square, although um, I did it a little bit differently than uh, Denny did it in her step out, um, or in her sample. Um, I say colored in most. This I did the aura, of course, filling in. And um, and then on some of the orbs, I just decided to shade a little bit and uh, make them look like uh, a little bit like, like pearls or something. So just to show some different ideas, that is all. So cute tangle. Neat. Um, you know, sometimes it's nice to have something that's, uh, I would call this geometric. Uh, and I personally like to pair tangles like this with um, ones that have maybe uh, like more orbs, more curviness to it. Um, it's just kind of, I don't know, to me, it look, it's a nice contrast. Um, and then also to have something that has a little bit more uh, contrast where you have you know a lot of dark and white and what's nice about this is that you can you can play with the decoration play with the, oh and this yeah I alternated how um uh, how I had the uh the fragments positioned so you can have fun with so much on this one and these are fun because it just it never gets old the the tangle steps are simple enough that you don't have to go back and look at it so this is another one that you could probably lose yourself in which is a nice thing to happen. So if you enjoyed the video, would love to have a thumbs up, you know, the like, share, uh, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, would love to have that. And uh, below the, uh, in the description section below the step outs, you'll find ways to connect with me. So if you enjoy 
uh, enjoyed this video, maybe you want to uh, come join us for a live class. I do live classes every week. Um, most are free, some are paid because I got to keep myself in pens and things like that. <laughs> so I got to afford the habit. And um, anyway, would love to have you join me. We have great fun. And with that, thanks again so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.